Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sprocket. Last time we were here we decided to mess around with the new engine and then just, you know, try to rebuild the armor direction in the tiny chode. But today we are going to be trying to do something a little bit more historical. A little bit more. Tell me in the comment section what tank you think I'm building based on what I'm building. But I'm going to build the tank that the Germans attempted to build. Now I did the more nitty gritty kind of... Fun stuff, you know, making it look pretty and whatnot. Which is this shit, like the armor, which for some reason the armor plating did not show up on this side, so I have to fix that. It's super annoying. Uh, I think I can just crew or live early. I think it's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I gotta play with that a little bit. But tell me in the comment section, what tank do you think I'm trying to build? Now, what my goal is, I want to build this tank, and I want to try to keep it to histor as historically accurate as I possibly can. Trying to keep it as close as I can, but with within the confines of the engine, of course. What tank does this look like to you guys? Tell me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Did I get it close, do you think? Do you think I could have done better? Uh, if you know how this game works and how its engine works, uh, what do you think I could have done differently? Tell me in the comment section. But, as always... Any engagements you guys leave helps the channel and helps with the algorithm, so likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments, all helps out and I appreciate the help. Uh, pretty much the one thing that will help you stay in contact with the channel, or rather just keep up with what's going on with the channel, is just little things like likes and dislikes and bell icon. Uh, little engagements like that will help, simply because the YouTube algorithm does not... It doesn't care if you subscribe, which is weird, so likes and dislikes are more important. Uh, other than that, if you want to come hang out with me, link description below for the Discord. But with that said, what I'm going to do is I want to look up historical details about this tank in particular. And I want to see if how close I can get this. The weight, the armament, I want to get it as close as possible. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this tank in particular that we are looking at today, or attempting to build today. Uh, the details of it are as follows. It had a width of 3 0.1 meter, I'm oh, sorry, 3.71 meters or 12 feet. So the width was about 12 feet. Uh, its height was about 11 feet. Its crew could house about six people. It was supposed to have a gunner, a commander, two loaders, a driver, and a radio operator. So I do we have that as a crew option? So we have gunner sight, manlet, driver port. It's weird that it says that as the crew, but not. Do we have a radio operator as, like, an option? Well, driver, gunner sight, of course. Commander, stowages. I'm not really sure. Maybe under firepower? Uh, ammo storage? No, I'm not really... I'm honestly not sure in terms of crew. Oh, here we go. Driver, gunner, loader. Uh, I think you can... Radio operator, radio man. So, yeah. Yeah, we could definitely do that. That's definitely feasible. Uh, so, we need crew of six. Uh, once commander, we've got the driver, obviously. Uh, or we have one gunner. That guy's a loader. This guy's gonna be a loader. And then one radio guy. There we go. So that's gonna be our crew. Uh, so that's checked off the list. Let's see what else. Oh, thank you, Wikipedia. Now, I don't know if this game gives me length. Like, if I can measure it. I don't think so. I genuinely do not think think it will size oh that's just armor mass never mind i was really hoping that it would actually give me like a hole like a, not a hole a um uh, no no you know what it is it's gonna let's see if it how high it can shift that's all that's gonna do yeah so it's not gonna give me wait uh what about this? What happens if I... Yeah, so that's what that's going to do. We don't want to do that. I don't think I can actually measure the tank. If you guys know if I can or can't, let me know in the comment section. But one thing I can do is get the weight. Which the tank was weighed at 188 tons. Jesus H. Christ, what am I at? Se I'm at 17 tons. How the Frig, am I supposed to get to 180? Do you know how massive I need to make this goddamn tank? 188 tons. Where in the hell am I gonna put 188 tons? Wait, if I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crazy idea. What if? What if? 
armor. In theory, if our armor is low, right? Logic would have it that perhaps that would increase the weight. And I can probably increase the weight in other ways. So generally speaking, if I can get... I just gotta... I need to get used to this game's um, layouts and whatnot. It's just a little weird. Uh, the return rollers, tank segments, no. Uh, force, no. I gotta find this bit, so hold on one minute. Alright, I don't know how I accidentally came across this, but let me see if I throw that together. Okay, so we can raise the thickness of the armor. Uh, can I X armor? There we go. And then if I increase that... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to max out the armor. And that is going to be the thing that... So, we're already at 53 tons and a little bit more than half of our weight, which is good. Uh, I don't... I'm just going to try to put it where it just makes sense. If the game wants to cooperate with me. Yeah, we like it thick. Alright, um... Go armor. Now, how do I armor the turret? I go firepower. New. No. Cannon. You know. That's not what we want. I want actual thickness for the manlet. That's what we want. Gun mount, maybe? No. But, so, it's weird. We can't put armor on the manlet? That's strange. Or can I? No, it's just... No. No. Uh, very weird. I can't... I can't put armor on it. That's... Weird. So, okay. We're gonna go back to compartments. Uh, again, if you guys have any insight as to what I'm doing wrong... Let me in the comment section. Let me know what I did wrong. I'm always... I'm all ears... So, if I goof somewhere, let me know. And in terms of goofage. There we go. Uh, how are we looking? Alright, so, me putting armor on the back and whatnot didn't... What the frick? Oh, that's because I'm on... Wait, no. I'm most definitely on the turret. It says there's no armor thickness yet. They're... It is like what the frig or maybe maybe it's there i don't know i'm confused but right now we're at 77 tons so let's get our crew in there first before i do something goofy um what we need is obviously the driver which i did not viewpoint for the driver uh we don't need that duplicated actually let me pull up a picture of the the vehicle in question. Where the hell did the driver look out of? Adjustable viewpoint? Maybe it was something around here? I need a better image of this vehicle. Ah, oh, goddamn. Like, some of these images do not help. Uh, I'm just gonna look this up real quick. So, I will be right back again. Hold on, please. Alright, so based on some pictures, I just kind of guessed with this. I, I just made that monstrosity. Uh, I know that looks absolutely horrendous, but that was the best thing I could do. Uh, it was the only thing that made sense. Now, if I go ahead, we're going to go to mobility, the engine. Uh, I don't know if displacement is good or bad, but that's going to increase the weight. It's apparently increase. Okay, that may... I don't know if more cylinders is going to help us or not, so we're going to go about eight cylinder. Actually, before I do that, what kind of engine did it have? Let's see. Engine, it was a V12 diesel engine v12 doesn't really tell me like cylinder wise i don't know if it tells me how many cylinder uh 6.8 it was 6.4 tons god damn uh horsepower so i don't know much about engines to be perfectly honest with you uh i it just tells me that it was a petrol engine i know what a petrol engine is um 
probably something else that I'm going to have to look in. Because I do not know... I don't know how many cylinders. It doesn't even tell me the displacement, I don't think. It just tells me that it's a diesel engine, which again, that doesn't really help me. It doesn't tell me idling. Uh, I don't know if I should be putting out power. I don't know what I should... I don't know what else I should really be putting out. So we're just going to put heavy. We're going to go medium. That that should be fine. Technically, it is a super heavy tank, but I'm, I'm just going to kind of YOLO guess it, and we're going to hope for the best. I don't know... I don't know about the transmission either. Uh, it does not tell me anything about the transmission. Thank you, Wikipedia. Uh, fuel tank. I know this. It's about here. I'm going to say proportionally. Right about that big. That kind of makes sense for the tank, based on what I know. Um, secondary coaxial machine gun, which, that's why it's the close. Like, this is the closest manlet I can really get. The turret is as close as it's going to get. I know there's a little hatch right back here, so I don't know if maybe... Yeah, I'm just going to slap... I don't know what... Oh, you know what it might be? I think I might know what it might be. Uh, Anti-infantry, maybe? Like a little anti-machine... Like a little machine gun thingy? Little knob right there. That's that's what would make sense. Uh, I don't see any like the pictures of this vehicle are really hard to come by. Unfortunately, they're not the best. Uh, I know there's like a tow hitch right here. I just do not know utility. Uh, structural? Yeah, right here. Actually, kind of fatter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these. We're gonna double it. About right there, I think. And we're gonna spin them. Yeah, that's gonna be. That's probably gonna be as close as I can get it. That might be it. I'm not sure. I do have to fix this at some point, but I'll do that later. I just want to see if I can get this damn thing to work and get it as close to 188 tons as possible. Uh, firepower. Let's go to ammo storage. Cause that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, hold on. I need crew. I need to finish my crew. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, I don't remember how to... Oh, okay. There we go. Can it... Oh, wait. What? So, do we technically now have two people in there? Oh, whoops, uh, <laughs> whoopsies. Okay. No, the, is there a radio man already technically in there? Like, I don't remember how to apply these seats. I have no, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I last played this game, so I have no goddamn clue what I'm doing. I know viewports, great, crew hatches, uh, great. Firepower, gun, uh, ammo storage would probably be good. Let me just see if this vehicle runs. Oh, radio antenna, that's what it is. I mean, it's functioning. God, this tank is a monster. And, not, and for all the wrong reasons, too. I should probably raise its suspension. How is the depression and why are you looking down? What, what are you doing? Alright, look look up. No, you're looking down. Okay, I don't know why it's looking down. The tank is depressed. I don't know what is wrong with my tank's depression, but it... Th this tank... I think it knows that it is a monstrosity. And it is just absolutely depressed with its life. Maybe that, but, uh, maybe that's why. No, it's not gonna help me. Uh, I thought playing around with that might actually do something. Uh, elevation, maybe? I don't know if that's gonna help me either, so we're just gonna play with that. Um, I haven't got the foggiest clue, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm gonna say, like, right 
There, right about there, I'm gonna say, and then maybe. That just seems to be the most realistic, I guess. Again, I'm taking a lot of guesses. I don't know a whole lot about how this game operates. I, again, just taking crackpot guesses. Um, antennae, I don't know where the antennas typically go, so I'm gonna just guess it right on top right there. Um, Commander Debuff, I don't know what that does. Uh, loader found no racks, shell size, missing Commander's Cupola. Okay, so we need the Commander. Uh, I'm just gonna put the Commander's thingamajig. I don't... Uh, did the actual tank have something? I would have smoothed out the top of the tank. Oh yeah, it actually did. This is actually the right one too, so... They about right, right. Oh wait, the. F oh, it was. Oh, see this. Is the okay. Wait, maybe that's not. Yeah, th there's so many images of this vehicle, and it's like some of them have it where it's like this solid, blocky, just disgusting monster, and then others have it a little bit more curved. So it's kind of confusing as to what it like. Some of them show it as maybe like a single tread. Some of them show it as a double. Images are very hit or miss. Like, it seems like one image says that the radio goes here, actually. Um, seems like there's actually supposed to be... This is actually the best image I have of this damn tank. Uh, let's see. So there's actually supposed to be, like, an MG, like, a little ball right there. Uh, let's see. Do we have, uh, enough viewports? Lights? Library, maybe? No. Structural... Lights, there we go. And then we're gonna just double. They're gonna go right about there. And let's do li 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 library, uh, I think. Forest, probably. I think probably more like that, sort of. More like that. Yeah, more like that. Okay. Loader found no racks. My turret's still just dipping. Oh, there you go. There you go. Goodbye. I don't know what's wrong with my turret. It's like a special kind of stupid. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this. That's actually how the cannon's supposed to look. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it less. Oh, what the shit? Uh, oh, well, my tank is now a chode. Okay. Uh, that is not how long it's supposed to be, but okay. Nope, it's still way too heavy for some reason. Um, hmm. Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete the turret. We're just going to delete the whole... Not the turret, but the gun itself. Um, so I'm just going to delete that. We're going to redo the manly. I'm convinced that this is the... Uh, I'm convinced this one is the one, the one manly we want. So we're going to make it as big as the game kind of lets us, which is going to be about, yay, big, right there. And then we're going to... Is the turret already in? Yes, it is. Wait, so why is it... Weird. So I just want to test and make sure it's actually... Yeah, so now it's working appropriately. So if I go here and I just stretch that bitch out. Okay, so the turret is functioning the way it's supposed to. Now, what kind of caliber weapon did this have? We can fix that. I do 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 armor it was supposed to be 220 meters thick. Uh, I kind of did that incorrect, so I'm gonna have to go back and correct that. Try to get it the best. Uh, main arm is a 121mm gun, so we need to make this 100, so, 128, uh, it does not tell me the propellant length, so that I do not know, so if you guys know, tell me in the comment section. Yeah, so it's doing that again, where it's just dropping the turret. So, all right, the only thing I can think is that for some reason, it has something to do with the weight. What if I just make it like a monstrous... All right, no, so that's not going to help us either. 
Um, hmm. <laughs> oh. No? Let's do one seg- oh, 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 let's do one segment. Still drops. I don't know why. That's- that is something we're gonna have to contend with. I don't know why. I was thinking if I do it into two separate segments, maybe segmenting it will help. But well, that's not helping us out at all. Uh, can I change... Oh, it's the highest armor. Uh, late war is like pro like before World War, uh, before the Cold War. Um, okay, I gotta work with the turret somehow. Cause I don't know why it's doing that. If you guys have any ideas as to, oh wait, actually maybe. Nope. Nope, that didn't do anything. Um, maybe this is the armor. I don't know. I genuinely do not. Oh, that's what that is. That is the armor. Okay, I'm all, I'm dumb. And uh, fixing the elevation does not change anything either. So, I you know we're gonna just raise the propellant like just for shits and giggles to see. Yeah, it's like uh, insufficient force to lift cannon. Install stronger lang drive or improve cannon. What the hell is a lang drive? What does it say exactly? Or improve cannon and balance. If I do this... So I gotta make it into a tiny chode, but adding on this still adds that weight. So, I mean, for you know what we're gonna do for now? We're gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna change this and correct the turret because the turret's supposed to be much, the cannon's supposed to be much longer. It's definitely supposed to be longer. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start loading munitions in there just so we can get an idea. So, I'm gonna, where did, you know, hold on, I'm curious where this vehicle stored its munitions. Uh, let's see, I don't know where it did, for, you know what I'm gonna do for now, I wanna get the tank together, I just wanna get it together, I wanna get it operating. So we're just going to throw it right up in here. There we go. And then we're going to do another... I'm just going to keep doing stacks of ammo. Alrighty, so we got the munitions in there. We have our one loader, which for some reason I wasn't able to load, set up a second loader. Uh, I don't know if, he just, if they just kind of hang out in there. Uh, we technically have our radio guy right there. Uh, yeah, so everyone's technically in. Um, takes about eight seconds to load, which that sucks. It drives pretty well. I could have probably angled the armor a little bit better. Alright, so, what I want to do is, let's see about our mobility, if I go powertrain, twin transmission, which braking, I don't know what this tank had. I'm going to leave twin transmission. Um, hmm. I actually don't even know what kind of system it used for venting. If it used vents or if it used an exhaust pipe, I don't know. These are things that I do not know and I got to look this up. Uh, the engine, what I wanted to do was work with the tracks. Because if I do, no. Because we're still at 80 tons. We still have about 20 more tons to play with. I feel like raising that's going to be better. Dampener, I don't know what the dampener is going to do for me. New, we don't want to, actually, let's just back that. Uh, scale, probably like that big. I don't know what that's going to do. Because sometimes giving us, like, making the the, uh, the tracks, I'm having a mental block, I apologize, guys. Sometimes making the tracks taller helps with mobility. And it seems like our tank gets pretty solid mobility. 
but it's maybe a little too long because certain things like going downhill and whatnot. So maybe raising the tracks would be better. I don't know why it's sinking now. I, I can see why the Germans had such a hard time building the tanks that they did. It's because they were coming up with crazy ideas. And uh, they didn't really have the time to invest in bullshit. No, like, it just, it doesn't stay there though. Like, that's the problem. So, like, I can climb hills, but once we get to, like, something like this, it's done deal. The tank is stuck. You're not getting anywhere. Alright, so that's gonna behave. What about right over here? Turning's not really the best either. And why are my tracks sticking out of the front now? What the hell did I do wrong? What the shit? Oh, that's why. That's annoying. I just wanted... I just wanted them to be taller. Uh, shite. Okay, so that's probably gonna have to stay the way that it is. Um... I gotta figure out this turret issue, too, because... It's not going to really play nice with me if I go to try to make it longer. I do also want to figure out crew if I can... So I'm ha I don't know how to manually... Oh, wait. No. So if I load and then unload... So no, I definitely do not have a seat for the loader. So how do I add another loader? Alright, so I think considering constraints of the game, I physically can't add a second loader because the loader is connected to the turret. So for some reason, I cannot give one turret two loaders. Like, there's no other option for me to add another loader. So I don't really know. And yeah, it just doesn't give me that option. Um, also, some things that I put on here didn't save either, so that's a little annoying. Um, I have to play with this. I gotta look around and see what else I could do. But yeah, I mean, for now, it functions, it fires. It's got a beef. Actually, let me check the armor real quick before we do anything. I wanna see something. Uh, if we go. I don't even know how I did that armor thickness. 200 millimeters. So the armor... Armor was actually two... Oh! So this is kind of a goof. So on the turret front... We're not going to do the turret right now. We're going to do turret side. Actually, no. Nah, yeah, we'll do that later. So the front hull was only 200 meters, which that's correct. The whole side... So the sides of it were actually 180. So... We're going to bring it down to 180. And then... So that's correct. And the back was 150. So, so one could argue I built a better tank than the Germans did. The back armor was 150. There we go. And the turret, the side and rear were 200. But the top turret, that one was... Let's see 220 millimeter oh actually no that's the ring though that's not the actual front armor which is maxing out at two can i make it 220 i can actually make it 220 sort of let's see if i go back and yeah, no, it saved it so the sides were 200 so this is actually accurate and the main guns are 128 68 rounds uh, we definitely don't have 68 rounds in here. Like, 100% definitely not 68. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just delete these munitions real quick, because I want to re-implement them. I think what I'm going to do is, just for the sake of my own sanity, I'm going to put them in the body, considering the weight. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to be right back as I manually load all of these shells while questioning my life choices. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so it calls for 68. The closest I could get was... Actually, hold on. If I were to... Oh, wait. Did they only deliver in pack... They only move in packs of two. Okay. Weirdly enough, I could only delete... Okay, what if I do... Oh, wait. Now I can do one. Okay, cool. 
So if I, god damn it, go in there. Blocked by another rack? How? What does it mean blocked by another rack? It's bullshit. So the closest I can get is either 66 or 70. Oh, there we go. So 66 is going to be as close as I can get it. Even though it says I still have 72. Uh, there are no... Wait, there are ammo racks not fully inside? Which ammo racks aren't fully inside? What bullshit is this? Wait, ammo rack isn't fully inside. Oh, uh, wait. No, they shouldn't be that close. They should all be in. Maybe it's these bottom racks? So that looks like it's peering out a little bit. Move them up, move them there. There are not fully in compartment that they were attached to. What the hell you mean they're not in? What the shit? All right, there we go. So now our tank has all of its munitions. Its turret is functioning. It takes eight seconds to load. So not the best load, a little slow, the turret functions, I would like to correct that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to load this onto the battlefield and see how it goes before we wrap up for tonight. So let's see how it works. Alright, so our new tanks are going to be going up against the our previous tanks, the Armored Erections, and the Little Chodes. So, and of course, a few others as well. So we're going to go ahead, let's get right into it. So far, there's our tanks, they're rolling in. There's more of them than us, but we are technically, or attempting to be a super heavy tank. Uh, we're functioning well. We're doing good so far. Not sure where the enemy's at. Alright, so apparently a Centurion already burned one of our tanks. And my tank is driving in the direction that I don't want it to, so I don't know where it got hit that it was destroyed, but a Centurion managed to burn it in one shot. So that's not too good. I'd like to see where he is. I think they're down there, maybe? Looks like they might be down that hill. So, Alright, so we killed one of theirs. Let's see if we can try to... Point the front of our armor at the enemy. Alright, so there's that. That looks like a panther, maybe a tiger. Too low. Again, I have to fix the turret. That might increase our range. Fire it about right there. That's right, a hit. I may have killed the tracks, but I did not kill the tank. Oh, it's gone. Ooh, that's a kill. Oh, the, the radio antenna's in my way. Alright, that's a bounce. I see that tank still firing. You know it would be really cool if this game added? I still want them to add modern day tanks, like the ability to build an Abrams. Oh, that was a ricochet. Um, I, I want to be able to build, like, a... I, I want a free mode where you can just do whatever. There's no constraints build whatever the hell you want. If you want to build a monster tank that looks like a goddamn skyscraper, that's up to you. I want them to do that. I would love for the developer to allow us to do that. That would make this so much fun. Yeah, tanks retreating. I don't know where our tanks are, like the armored erection or the, uh, the little chode. Oh, little chode! <gasps> little chode killed one of our tanks! Oh my god, my little chode! Damn, that armor's thick. I'm gonna fire up a little higher, try to hit the turret. I see my little chode firing down there. That sounds so stupid. I can imagine my landlord just hearing this. Why is Nick talking about his dick? Yeah, that's my little chode! Alright, I missed. I think being it's a tinier little, like, tankette, 
it definitely gives it a smaller profile, allowing it to uh, kind of hide better. All right, too high. It seems like the enemy tanks are trying to back off. That Centurion's been burning my tanks, though. Uh, it looks like I got it. Okay, I got a hit on the chode, but I did not. Oh, wait. No, I killed it. We still have about six tanks left on our side. Oh, duh, it says it right there. Wait, wait, we got six left, and then there's nine of the enemy. So we're going to push up. I would argue that our performance is pretty good. What is that? I mean, it's an enemy. Yep. Oh, shit. It's got thick ass armor. Nope, that's a hit. I'm not pen. I'm going to have to get around him. Uh, we are taking some solid hits to the front. And despite my tiny erectile dysfunction looking turret. Nope, that's a miss. Shot right over his head. Man, that tank does not want to give. Bro, look how dented. Oh, there we go. They got me. Uh, I think they killed. Oh, wait, what? What's wrong with this one now? I think those are my destroyed tanks. This guy was special. I think I could switch. Oh, I can give my guys orders. I didn't even realize I could do that. All right. Uh, is there? Isn't there a way to? Oh, okay. I just wanted to see if I could switch over because I really didn't want to bother driving this tank all the way back. Uh, hold on, let me check controls real quick. There we go, I figured it out. I got it, okay. There's one tank down there that's just giving me hell. Oh, it's that one still. Sneaky little bastard. I'm just not punching through his armor at all. He's holding there like a friggin' tick. What if, where are the other tanks though? Like where where is my armored erection? Where is I don't know where they are. This tank got stuck in a ditch. Okay, so oh no way. So yeah. Mobility is definitely an issue. Alright, so that's one thing. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna reset the map real quick and I wanna try something. Alright, so we're maxing out on little chodes and armored erections, because I wanna see how well they do. We're gonna load in. We did field, so hopefully this gives us a little bit more mobility. Uh, I mean, granted, this is just mobility for the sake of the fight because I want to actually see if uh, my tanks do any good. Uh, I don't think there's only nine of us. Okay, there should still only be nine. So again, tell me in the comment section what tank do you think this is, and if you know what tank this is, tell me in the comment section uh, how could I have improved on this and got it closer to the real thing. And also, how do you think that if this tank were to have actually been de uh, you know, deployed, what do you think the Germans could have done to actually make it better? In the comment section. Alright, so we are engaged by the little chodes, but it seems like the armored erections are having a hard time moving around. They're actually way off in the distance. Actually, that's an armored erection right there. God damn, I made those tank cannons beefy. Oh, too low. I mean, too high. That one, okay, that one's nasty. I gotta start firing on him. Come on. Damn it. Bad aim. Nope, no good. He's gonna keep moving. Oh, wait. Um, one of my tanks destroyed an armor erection. No good. Oh, that's another. I gave it two turrets? I don't remember giving the army direction two turrets. Damn it. Missed it. Too low. I gotta aim up a little bit higher. Keep it above the turret, uh, yeah, above the turret, I'd say. Is that a kill? That might have, yeah, that's a kill. Yeah, I gotta look back to see what I did, because apparently... Ooh, no, that's a dent. That is a dent. That is not a kill. That, that one is still very much active. That's a kill. Think. Oh, there's one right in front of me. I never saw it. Hi, friend. How you doing? I'm gonna try to go for a lower body shot. That's a kill. 
That's a kill. I punched right through it. Is his armor 13 millimeters? No. Yeah, that's destroyed, I think. Uh, looking for a moving target to hit. That one, I don't know if it's moving or if it's dead. Nah, it's just, that one's already dead. Uh, that one's disabled. There's one way the hell off in the distance. But I would argue that this tank is performing better than my armor directions. Uh, so that's where we're going to leave this one for for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, enjoy this channel, this content, and then just me just being a doof that I am. Any engagements that you guys leave helps the channel out. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments, all helps with the algorithm, helps us get out to other users, and helps our community as a whole grow. And I appreciate that help. Uh, generally, likes and dislikes are be uh, better for the algorithm. It doesn't really seem to care about subscriptions as much anymore so if you could leave a, a like or dislike or even comments that all helps a lot if you want to come hang out me link description below for the discord and our community goal is 100 likes per video so i would love to see us get there more often if you could help us get there that'd be great and i'd appreciate it but other than that i will see you all on the next one thank you so much love you all have a fantastic night see you guys on the next one later people